from Intensity and Ellie, and we're going to do a core workout today. I hope you're ready. All right, today we're gonna do a core workout, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off, six rounds, and we'll alternate between a couple different positions. So V-sit, reverse lunge, or reverse crunches, planks, you know the drill. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're gonna do a quick little warm up here. So arms out in front, and let's slowly come on down. Thumbs up over your head and slowly come all the way back up. Make sure to squeeze your shoulder blades at the top. So nice and slow on the way down and nice and slow on the way up. If you can't make it the whole way up, that's completely fine. Just try and come up as far as you can. Hold it for an extra second and then lower back down. And let's stay here at the top and let's just reach back. So open up those arms. Take a look at the fingers behind you as you rotate. Keep that back nice and straight. We're warming up our obliques here. And let's check out our balance. So let's stay here in that V sit and let's just bring one leg up and then tap it down. Bring the other leg up and tap it down. Try and find our center of gravity while we keep our back nice and straight. And if you want to give it a try, try and bring both legs up and then tap them on down. And let's go ahead and roll all the way down. And we're gonna bring our knees into your, our chest. So just one at a time, march them in and back down. Try and Pull your abs in every time you bring your knees in. And let's do both at the same time. Come on, let's go play here. And let's extend those legs all the way up. And let's just reach for our toes and come back down. Reach for our toes and come back down. Planks. 
So 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. If you need to take a break at any time or drop down to your knees, that is completely fine. So we're just gonna go ahead and start with our tall plank here. Remember, if you wanna drop down to your elbows, there's no problem with that. So while we're here, let's try and bring our shoulders back and open up our chest just a little bit. If you feel like this is just a little bit too much, you can always drop down to your knees but I would just wanna make sure we're not having any valleys here. So I'd rather your hips are up a little bit taller than low. And go ahead, take a break. Round two for those planks. So we're gonna pop on up. This time, bring your feet nice and wide and we're just gonna reach forward, alternating arms. Now, while you're reaching with those arms, try and squeeze your shoulder. So you get a little bit of a shoulder, extra shoulder and upper back workout here. If you can, try not to rotate your upper body too much. Try and keep it nice and steady and strong. And go ahead, take a break. Round three, we're gonna move our legs. This time, kicking one leg up and then the other. Let's do it. So when we were moving those arms, we wanted to squeeze our shoulders. This time, we wanna squeeze our glutes as we lift our legs up. Try and hold your legs up in the air for just an extra second. And break, take it back. We're gonna do a little hip movement here. So this time, reach one arm up, drop it down, other arm up, let's do it. So we're just twisting those hips up, we're stacking them one on top of the other. Try to reach up nice and high, fingertips up towards the ceiling. Take it on down, just two more to go. So with those arms, we're just gonna tap our shoulders. Here we go. Try and keep those abs in nice and tight. Nice and strong core. And break. Last one for the legs. This time we're just gonna tap our leg up high for our little Spider-Mans here. So bend your knee, bring your knee up to your elbow. Let's do it. Try and keep that upper body nice and still and strong. And we're done. Shake it out. We're gonna flip on over and we have some reverse crunches. So we're gonna keep the bottoms of our feet on the ground, lay back, and we're just gonna be reaching as we bring our knee in to our chest. I'll give you a couple options. All right, ready, set, and let's start by alternating. Bring one knee in, drop it down. Other knee in, drop it down. Let's do it. So try and pull your belly button down towards your spine and slide your rib cage towards your hips as you bring your knee in. And take a break. 
Next, we're gonna do both knees at the same time. So pull those knees in as you reach for those heels. Try to make sure you're breathing. So exhale as you come on up. Inhale as you drop your feet gently down towards the mat. And break. This time we have three pulses at the top. And then bring it on down. So reach three, two, one. Drop it down. Let's do it. Try and reach those fingertips closer and closer to those heels. All right, if you are up for the challenge, we're going to extend all the way out. Crunch it in, three, two, one, and extend it out. Let's do it. So nice and slow as you extend your arms and legs. Keep breathing. I hope you guys are feeling this one. All right, this time we still have the three pulses. We're gonna go three, two, one, extend it out and reach for your toes at the top. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, extend it out, reach for your toes at the top. Bring it in, three, two, one, extend it out, reach for those toes. Getting a little tricky here. Now we're just going to do those clamshells. So just reach for your heels and back down. Last one, let's do it. Try and go nice and slow on the way down. You want to really work those abs. And break. All right, let's flip on over. And we're going to go into table pop. All right, so hands under your shoulders knees under your hips and we just have a couple movements where we're gonna extend our arm and leg and opposite leg and then we're just gonna be focusing on one leg at a time all right ready first one we're gonna alternate left arm right leg right arm left leg ready and go So at the top, make sure you're squeezing your back. Bring that arm and leg up nice and high. Hold that squeeze at the top so you get a little bit more out of this exercise. And bring it down. This time, we're going to extend that arm and leg and then bring it in and then tap it down. Other side. Here we go. So extend it out, bring it in, tap it down. Extend it out, bring it in, tap it down. And 
this time we're just going to focus on one leg. So we're going to take one leg, we're going to bring it out to the side, bring it up and over. So you're going to pretend there's something behind you and you don't want to touch it with your foot. So we're just going to bring that foot up and over across the midline of your body and then out to the side. And other leg, same thing, up and over. Try and raise your leg just a little bit higher, making sure that that movement is coming from the hip and not your leg. And set it down, other leg, straight out there, and we're just gonna do little pulses right here. Here we go. Try and lift your leg just a little bit higher from the hips. Bring those hips up just a little bit higher. Every single time you're bringing your leg up and down, try and bring it up higher. And bring it down, other side. Leg up nice and high, point those toes. Almost there, we're feeling it, we're feeling good. And bring it down, take it back. We're gonna turn over for our V sets, just like in the warm up. All right, here we go. We're gonna test our balance a little bit here, too. So let's go ahead, bring those shoulders back, lean on back. In the first one, we're just going to rock forward and back for that V set. And then we'll change it up just a little bit each time. All right, ready, set. Here we go. All right, so just little movements forward and back. Make sure you keep your back nice and straight and those shoulders back. Try and look at the spot where the ceiling and the wall meet so that you keep your spine in alignment. Arms nice and straight. And this time we're going to add a little extra movement. So at the top, squeeze those shoulders. Squeeze. Try and come back just a little bit further than you did before. Let's do it. Squeeze those shoulders back. Try and sit up nice and tall. And this time we're gonna bring our arms out to the side, back in, out to the side, back in. No movement with that upper body. So we did three with arm movement. We're gonna do three with leg movement next. you can with any of these. If you do want to lift your legs up off the ground, go for it. I always tend to shake a little bit here. And 
down break this time leg movement i'm going to bring my hands behind me i'm going to bring my knees in and then straighten them out bring them in straighten them out here we go Don't forget to keep your back straight, even squeeze your shoulders back at the top. Nice. All right, you're going to keep your legs straight this time and make a circle clockwise. Let's do it. If you feel like this is just a little too much, you can drop your leg and you can just do one leg at a time. I like to keep my hands behind my back so that I keep my torso straight and I really focus on moving from the hip and bring it down. You guessed it, counterclockwise this time. Last time, we got this. Keep those legs straight. Try and imagine you're drawing a circle with your toes. Break. Awesome. We're going to lay back on our back to finish up. We have a couple oblique exercises. So we're going to start with our knees facing me. Three on one side, three on the other side. So we're just going to do a little crunch and back down. So that's the first one. The second one, we're going to crunch up and we're going to extend our legs and then bring our knees in and come on down. So crunch up, extend your legs, and then bring them on down. The third, we're gonna crunch up and reach for our toes, and then back down. And then the same on the other side. So let's go ahead and get started. So first one, just little crunches right here. And just keeping my hands behind my head, supporting my head and neck, not pulling, and I'm really focusing on my core right here, working those obliques, pulling my abs in as I lift my shoulders off the ground. And break, this time crunch up, lift the legs, bring them in, and come on down. Crunch up, lift the legs, bring them in, and come on down. And the trickiest one, crunch all the way up and reach those toes. Crunch all the way up and reach those toes. Here we go. Exhale as you reach up for those toes. And break. Other side. I'll flip over. You guys can stay exactly where you are. So knees together. We're just crunching up towards the ceiling.
you guys are feeling it. take a moment just to quickly stretch here the last couple minutes that we have. Take a nice deep breath all the way in and exhale. Let's bring one knee in and it's side to side and bring it all the way down. Other leg side to side. And both knees in, rock side to side right here. And let's go ahead, flip on over. Quick child's pose here. So sit back on your heels, drop your forehead to the mat. And let's bring one arm across the other to stretch our side. And switch to the other side. And let's come on up to tabletop. Deep breath all the way in. Bring your back up towards the ceiling. And exhale. Look all the way up. All right, curl your toes under, walk your hands back, and slowly roll on up. Let's take a nice deep breath all the way up and circle all the way around. Up to the top, when you get to the top, other direction. And stay right here, shake it out side to side. One last deep breath all the way up and shake those hands all the way down. Give me two thumbs up, we are done. Thank you guys so much for participating today. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I'll see you next time.